I was feeling this inside you. <laughs> okay, so we're back for more back to school makeup. But this time it's like a little more of a juge vamp look. We're going to be using, again, drugstore products. A very budget look, but still good makeup quality. I used some of these products in high school and I still use them now, I love them. In the previous video, I showed you guys how to do just a very basic foundation. I'm gonna start this video with my foundation and face already done, so if you need to know how to do foundation, go back to the previous video. But let's start with step one, and that's our cheeks. Okay, so this first product I'm so excited to show you guys because one of my most favorite um, bronzer blush combos is made by NARS and, but it's like $17.50, I found a recreated version by Elf Eyes Lip Space from Target and the colors seriously are so close it's scary. So this is the bronzer blush combo that I love. So I'm just using a Bare Minerals blush brush and we are going to work um, from the mid of the cheek up kind of where the sun would hit you and up through here. And using circular motions, we're just gonna bring a little color into the face and make sure you dust that hairline and up and through here a little bit. And then we're gonna do the other side, middle of the cheek and work up. And then make sure you go along the bottom here so that the color ties in and that your neck isn't white. You don't wanna have one face color and then one neck color. Okay, and then we're going to use a separate brush because we don't want to mix those for the blush. And we're going to smile and just dust that across those cheekbones. On the apple and make sure it doesn't fall below the tip of your nose, the color. So now we have our cheeks, the blush and bronzer, and we have color and life in our face. Okay, so I have worn this color ever since I was in high school and it's Maybelline Champagne, I swear by it. Every time I go to buy it, it's always out. So I know it's a popular color, people love it. It's a really great highlighter color, a color to put on your um, middle finger and go right below your brows and kind of just um, dust that on there using your finger. And that will really open those eyes up and highlight those brow bones. So it used, I used it as a highlighter just a little bit and now we're going to put it on our lid. So starting in the inner corner towards those lashes, we're going to really concentrate it in there with the sponge and then just kind of use your finger to smear it out. So it's not so concentrated over the whole lid. And then dust that across the rest of your lid. Again, concentrating on the inner corner of your eye. So then the next step, we're going to just use a slightly darker shadow called Mink by same brand, same line, Maybelline, and we're gonna dust that into the corners and across the rest of the lid. And it's this pretty coppery brown color. Starting from the middle of the eye and kind of working up onto the lid and out. So it gives our eye dimension. So after we are done with our eyes, we're gonna, gonna do something fun. We're using the New York High Definition Liquid Eyeliner, and it's shaped like a Sharpie, so it's really easy to apply the line that I wanna look. So it's very easy to get that definition of that cat line that you guys want on your eyes. So we are going to start on the outside. Tip is going up towards the brow, and you're just gonna like, this is how I learned. You put the tip of the applicator on your nose and that kind of indicates where you want your line to start. So it's gonna start above your lash line. You don't wanna make a straight line. So you're gonna go up and then pull down. So it kind of looks like that. And then flip your eyeliner and work your way in and down toward your lashes. So it really is, looks like this. It goes up and then down. So it's like around your eye. Never a straight line. And then flip your eyeliner and go down and work really along those lashes, and then you can draw your line in from there. And then open up and kind of go on the inside of that waterline and work up. So it gives you that really, that little bit of a sassy cat eye that you want. So there's the two, the top, and I would just wear it without any bottom eyeliner. I think that when you do your eyes like this, it's almost too much to put a bottom liner on, but sometimes if you want a more dramatic look, it's fun to do at the bottom, but in a different shade. And it depends on your eye color. I have like a hazel green blue eye, so I'm gonna use a plum purple. This one is Soft Coal by Ramel London, and it's a violet. And I'm just gonna tease along the bottom of my lashes, not in the waterline, just along the lashes just to give it a little pop of color below there. 
Okay, so on to the mascara. You guys know I was I was a victim of the high-end mascara, but I seriously love this. The Falsies by Maybelline, I'm convinced. $8, going from a $28 mascara to an $8, it's, it's definitely doable and I love it. And I always start on bottom and work the mascara up to the top, starting on the inner corner of the eye and just slightly wiggling the brush and then I move work out. So then after the top, we're gonna go on the bottom starting on the inner eye and working out just lightly. And make sure you don't forget your best mascara face. I wanna see some pictures. So hard not to do. I caught Cooper one day playing in my makeup and I swear he was doing the same thing that I do. He was looking there and being like. <laughs> okay, so after your lashes are done, we're gonna move on to my favorite part, the lips. And this is the New York Color Lip Stain and this is 16H. It's smooch proof. Doesn't give you an excuse to go you test that out. But um, I like stains because they give you your lips an all over even color without putting on a lipstick and it stays all day. So make sure you're really careful with lip stains. Um, you really wanna get it in the exact place where you want them. Starting on the out corners, get your, aim the tip towards the corners and work your lip way down like you would a lip liner. Really lining those lips and then kind of filling them in. So after that sets in for a little bit, you can either leave that as is to have a matte look on your lip, or you can put a gloss over it, or um, something that's kind of fun that I've done before is take that same eyeshadow you've used on your eyes and just um, put a little bit on the heart of your lips, on the upper, up here, and then in the middle, kind of down here. And it gives your lips just like a little bit of a shine and a gloss. So it makes them really pop. So I hope you guys loved this video. Please let me know if you've used any of these products before. If you're going to recreate this look, please tweet me a picture or post it on my Facebook. I love to know if what I'm doing is helping you guys. If you have any questions or comments for my next video, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for stopping by. I love you and we'll see you next time. Bye everybody.